In this video, we're just going to have a very quickly look at how we can provision a parent from a CSV file. In this case, um, I've listed here uh, some of my students in my test building, and we're going to set up a parent for James Smith. And if you have a look here, James's username is i4, and that's going to be important for when we test it later. So. The first thing to do is to have a look at the CSV file that I've created. Now, if you have a look at my CSV file, you'll see here that one of the fields that I've used is actually the student's username, i4. And from it, I've generated the username of the parent, so i4 underscore parent. And the reason I've done that is so that if, for instance, I've got quite a few of these usernames, it's very easy to append uh, the username with uh, the suffix to create a brand new user. The other feature of the CSV file I'd like to point out is that in column G I've got a field called hierarchy2 and in it I've put a group that I'd like the parents to arrive on. The actual CSV file can actually generate that group so it doesn't have to be on the system itself once you import the CSV. So, going back to front up. The tool I'm going to be using is user and access rights from admin. And I'm going to import the CSV file. And I'm going to change the separator to a common. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to match all the fields. So here the profile is going to be for a parent. I'm going to use my first name field, my last name field. I'm going to use the uh, username for my user and the password. So this is the first row in the CSV. It actually allows you to match those, those fields up. Scroll down to the bottom, uh, our parent's going to be a guest level of access on the system. And uh, I already have a parental group on the system, so that's going to be my top hierarchy. And then I'm going to have the subgroup specified by my CSV hierarchy too. And then I'm going to scroll down. Now, because this is a parent, we get an extra couple of fields that we can match at the bottom. So you can see it says parent relationship and what this is going to allow me to do is match uh, a field in the spreadsheet with a f with the field already in the profile of the user and in this case what we're going to do is we're going to match on the student username so in my spreadsheet I'm going to uh, choose uh, the field student username And I'm actually going to match this with the username of the student. So I'm going to pull this down and that's what I can match against. You'll notice I can also match against the synchronization key of the user or indeed the personal ID. I'm assuming the personal ID might be the UPN number, uh, but I'll have to check. And then we'll click on uh, next. And next again. And finish. So we've imported our user and we can see that there are no errors. And so I'm going to check this. And first of all, I'm going to go to user and access rights and I'm going to search for my parent. And the way I'm going to look for them is actually on the profile of the student. So I look for my student and then I can see the parent has already been matched to Mr. Smith. And if I go to the hierarchy, and again I'm going to go to my parental hierarchy and look for the Y7 group underneath it, Y7 parents, and then look for uh, the stat, uh, sorry, the parent on that hierarchy. There we go. I can see I've got my parent, Mr. Smith, I4 parent. Last things to check. 
I'm going to log in i4 parent. From the parental dashboard here, we can see that the parent can see James Smith. So our user has been set up on the system, has gone into a group and can see the right user on the system. I hope this helps.